Loz of Shabbos, Al Terebus Shulchan Aruch. We're learning Allah thirteen in uh, section three hundred two. Allah thirteen. It is forbidden to make folds in the collar of a garment. Collar. Collar. Yeah. Yeah. Collar. yeah. Of a garment with stays that are designed for that purpose. It's like little plastic things that go in the collar. Oh, there's uh, maybe uh, those metal things that you put and keep it together also? No, they have it, like they go inside it. Right, right, yeah. So, it is forbidden to make folds in the collar of a garment with stays that are designed for that purpose. Similarly, on Shabbos festivals and even on Cholamayr, it is forbidden to make folds that women make in their sleeves. As will be explained in section 519 and section 514. Do 14. Good morning. It is permitted to clean mud off, off, uh, off one's foot. If you have mud on your foot, it's permitted to clean it on Shabbos or one's shoe by scraping it. How do you scrape it? Scraping it against a wall, but not on the ground. Mm. Why? This is a decree, lest one intentionally seek to level the surface of the ground. So do it against the wall, not the ground. The rationale mm. is, it is common for a person to look for a hole in the ground, to mm. clean his feet there, because mud will be cleaned off very effectively in the, in the, in the, in the hole. Since he is occupied with cleaning off mud, there is room for concern that he will forget that it is Shabbos and have the intent to fill a hole and level the surface on the ground you know, on when cleaning off the mud. So, so leveling the ground is prohibited. On a golf course, you have golf shoes that are little spikes, but then they have a, have a thing with, with spikes. Like right. And you can rub, you rub, it, you rub your shoe on, you can rub your right. shoe on that. But I don't know... It's like you're rubbing against the wall. But there are other authorities who permit cleaning of mud even on the ground because there's no concern that one will intentionally level the surface of the ground. And if that should occur as a matter of course, as a result of cleaning off the mud, it is of no consequence because uh, when a labor is performed unintentionally, the act is permitted conservatively, conversely, there are authorities who forbid cleaning one's shoes even on a wall of a building because it appears that one is adding to the building. I don't buy that. With regard to actual practice, what's the bottom line? There's laws here, laws saying yes, laws saying nay. With regard to actual practice, the rule is that in matters of rabbinic law, the more lenient opinion is followed. You're allowed to do it according to the Letter of the law, it is permitted to clean off mud both on the ground and the surface of a stone or brick wall as an initial preference. However, it is preferable to clean off the mud on a wooden beam or wall. It's preferable. In which instance, it is permitted to clean off the mud according to all authorities. And the best, the best, way, the best way to do it to clean off the mud on a wooden beam or wall. Similarly, it is permitted to clean one's shoes with the earthenware shard that is, uh, that is uh, permitted to be moved, as will be explained in section 308. If none of these alternatives are available, it is preferable to clean off the mud on a wall. Even on the surface of a wall of stone or brick, rather than to clean than to clean it off on the ground, because there are more authorities who permit cleaning off the mud on the surface of a wall of a stone or brick than those who forbid doing so. Welcome to you. Sometimes you would take a stick.